Blessings, Aries. Welcome to your February general reading with me, Nikhil Asha of Ashworth Scott Life Schools. And I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor here to assist you with elevating to your next level of greatness. Are you ready? If you're ready, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Welcome back to the recurring subscribers and welcome to the new subscribers. Okay, let's go ahead and see what spirit has for you, Aries. Keep in mind, this is a timeless reading. I've set the intention that no matter when you watch it, whether it's February or some time beyond that, it will resonate with you if it's meant for you, okay? And if it's not for you, guess what? You could always schedule a personal reading. Put the link in the description to get your personal reading on, okay? Let's see what spirit got. What you got, spirit? Or Aries. Okay, Aries, you have surrender. You have surrender. Now, let me tell you, your next card, Harvest, came in in reverse. We're going to flip the right side up. Now, what Spirit would like me to tell you is when you surrender that Harvest card, it will be right side up. Right now, you not being willing to fully surrender to the divine is keeping you from the things that you've been manifesting, right? The things you've been praying for. It takes you receiving the guidance, right? from a place of curiosity with the desire to understand, not from a place of judgment, receiving the guidance. And then if you have any question or doubt, asking spirit for the guidance beyond the doubt, right? And then taking action, ooh, what's that? And then taking action. When you can allow yourself to do that, you will receive your harvest. Now, what I'm being told to tell you is that the changes are coming in swiftly. When I was like, you know, that was an indication of spirit is saying, I'm hearing the, the top gun song take my breath away, right? So what spirit is saying, is gonna be coming in fast for you, fast for you, fast for you, because that's how much of a blessing bank you got built up. But it first requires you to surrender. So if you're not happy with the current circumstances of your life, this is the only, only thing that's lacking is for you to surrender. Now you also got the manifestation card, right? And then you got the cosmic power card in reverse. So see, the way I'm looking at it, it's, it's reverse. So I'm gonna keep it right side up for you. Now, what spirit is telling you, again, your manifestations and your power, when you aren't surrendering to the divine, when you're living in a state of fear or you're letting ego take over, as opposed to the guidance you receive from spirit taking over, you are literally, literally, literally disconnected from your power, which is, again, blocking your manifestations from taking form. You also got the secrets revealed card. Now, what this is, is spirit is attempting to reveal to you the path that it is required for you to take to have any and everything your hearts desire, those things that you've been asking for, plus some, right? But in order to get there, it's about surrender. Now, as I said, that spirit is bringing up the healing component, right? It's about you healing the things within that are keeping you from surrendering to the divine, that are keeping you from being open to receive those things that are meant for you, right? What is the block? Where is the breakdown within you as to why you aren't surrendering? Because logically, you understand that when you surrender to the divine, you are essentially surrendering to your own will. Surrendering to God's will is surrendering to your own will. So if you are not doing this, when you have this understanding logically, it's because there's some sort of traumatic block within that you're being called to release. So if you're ready to release it, click the link in the description box, schedule your consultation. Let's get to work. Okay. Okay. Now also Jillian is available too for energy healing, help you get that energy block right on a body, right? So it's time for you to make a choice. It's time for you to make a decision. What are you really choosing to experience in this lifetime? Right. And then when you determine what that is, ask spirit to guide you, please and thank you, right? I am calling on you, spirit. I trust you from a place of unwavering faith. I am asking you and thanking you for guiding me to my dreams, to my desires, to my soul's path and purpose. And so it is. Thank you so much. And so it is, right? So there you have it. There you have it. It's simple. Like you got all these blessings just waiting in the wing for you to allow them in. But in order to receive them, it takes you surrendering and healing and connecting to your cosmic power. Ain't nothing else coming through for you. That is it, Aries. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I resonated. Again, if you like to work with me, if you like to work with Jillian, or if you like a reading, all the links are in the description box. So go ahead and click them. All right. Have a wonderful day. I leave you a peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.